Hi, this is a quick video for mainly AMD users that are having problems with the new game Dead Rising 3. I, I initially had problems when I first got it and I discovered it was mainly down to Crossfire so I had to disable that and then it was just a matter of messing about with graphics card settings to get it to be able to run smooth enough for me. So I'm using um, AMD's 14.7 beta driver. I'll put a link in the description for that if you want to download that so you've got the same driver I'm using. It's working fine for me now. Um, also you'll need to change a couple of the settings. First of all if you are using two cards you need to disable your crossfire like I've done here. Um, and then in your gaming settings um, the AA modes, I'll leave that to uh, let application decide, filters set to standard, uh, analyzing method is multi sampling, uh, mollipol, whatever that is, filtering is off. Um, the rest of them is use application sense, texture filtering is set to standard. Surface format optimization is off. Um, further down, wait for vertical refresh rate that's disabled on here. Um, I, I turn it on when I'm playing the game, otherwise, I do get some cross wave on it. Uh, open GL triple buffering off. Tessalization mode, uh, I've overrided that and I've disabled it. And also, if you're using the 14.7. Um, beta drivers, you'll have this frame pacing uh, mode for crossfire cards that's also disabled. So we'll now jump into the game. This is running on um, a Intel i7, uh, sorry, i5-25K and a Asus Matrix 797A Platinum graphics card and my system has 8 gig of DDR. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it well enough but in the top left it's got the frames per second from fraps The loading time on this still is pretty, pretty rubbish, even on an SSD. Right, so my current settings at this moment are um, resolution 1440. Obviously, if you've got a 1080 screen, you'll have it at 1080. Uh, custom graphics are set to I don't I don't know what this LOD is, but that's on full. Uh, game quality is on 1080, uh, ambience on, analyzing types on none, because uh, I don't really need it on this size monitor, but I'll turn that back on before I end the video. Motion blur is on, depth of fields on, uh, zombie quality, shadow quality and texture quality are all on high. Texture filtering is on 16 times, surface scattering is on and mirror and sky quality are both set to high and in this room I'm getting 60, 65 frames a second, 70 you'll notice it goes up and down quite a lot the frames per second I'd normally have my um, 
I'd normally have my V-Sync switched on uh, but I'm just going to leave it off for this video just so you can see what frames I'm getting otherwise it will limit it to 60 so as you can see it's quite smooth it's not jerking like it was in my original first video I'll get somewhere with a few more zombies It's definitely playable on these settings on, on my setup. You can see it just dropped down to about 35, 35 frames a second then. There's quite a few zombies around here. I have noticed it still does do a little bit of uh, a judder sometimes when you're doing the um, combo move when you grab them and do special move. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's down to graphics or hard drive loading problem or just a bug with game. So, as you can see, the uh, frames per second is, is quite nice. No problems with it. Plenty of zombies around. It's not dropping below 30, low 30s at any point. So, I'll change a couple of settings. First of all, the one that makes quite a big, big difference is the game quality. If you've got a 1080 screen, you'll only, I think, get the 1080p option. If you put it on the full option, that reduces your frame rate by quite a bit. For the first couple of minutes and then it goes back up again. But you still lose about, I'd say, 10 frames a second off your game. But it's still okay. The next option which is the anti-aliasing which I don't have switched on but I'll put it on to its maximum anyway and that's also dropped the frame rate by about another 5 to 10 in places so if you've got all your desktop settings set up the same as mine, got the same driver similar graphics card you've more than likely got a better processor because mine's quite out of date now I'd say um, play with these settings here, especially the game quality one. Try drop it down to 900p or even 720. Um, turn off the ambient occlusion. Um, Anti-aliasing. I don't normally use it anyway, so I'll disable that. Obviously, you can lower all these to the very lowest settings that you that you can. Texture filtering. I've not seen much difference in that from being on the lowest setting which I think is 2 to the highest setting of 16 I, I can't really see a difference anyway so turn that down as well and um, the next big big thing here obviously is the resolution the, the further down that goes the faster it's going to run but I'll just leave them a couple of changes for now I think a couple of them settings do need you to reboot the game before the tech effect So, I hope this video has been a bit helpful to you. If, it, if it's uh, helped you out, please drop a like and maybe subscribe. And also, if I've missed anything in this video and you need help with anything else, just drop a comment and I'll reply to you, hopefully within within that day. Okay, thanks for watching.